hello today i'm going to be reviewing the beatles poly gel nail kit first time ever trying this i don't know what to expect i've watched a few youtube videos on it but i'm a complete amateur okay so first it comes with these two little pieces of paper and i'm assuming they just tell you how it works then you get this so you get a top coat and you get six different colors so clear white natural pink skin tone bean red and dark pink then if you take this out you also get a nail file base gel your uv light this also might be an led light but i'm not sure about what the difference that is you guys can google it or let me know if you know in the comments and then this if you open it this is a little brushy thing why is it not focusing okay so here's a little brush there's a little spatula cool and then obviously the last thing are all of these what are these even called dual forms are these called dual forms they just call them plastic nails but i'm pretty sure they're called dual forms hi currently editing and there are a few things i want to mention before i start the video so first of all i have these weird freckles on my hand because i got citrus on my hand and went out in the sun and it hyper pigments your hand it's a thing apparently second of all i literally love this product but make sure you do your research before you buy it because it's hard the first time you do it so definitely watch this video definitely watch other videos on how to use it because i'm like i cannot tell you i don't know how i live this long without this product and i will use this product literally i feel like for the rest of my life because i'm so obsessed with it but i definitely took my time and you know watched a couple youtube videos i would watch this one all the way through just so you know what you're getting yourself into but don't let that scare you because i'm i can't tell you enough this is not sponsored i love this little kit thing Okay, so my nails were so ugly and I was in desperate need of this kit, like desperate need. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is file down all of your nails just to get like a good surface that the poly gel and base coat will be able to grip to. So yeah, here's me just filing down my nails using the file that came in the kit. Then I don't know if they specifically said to do this, but I took nail polish remover and I just went over all my nails to get rid of any oil or anything that was previously on my nails to clean it off. So the next thing you do is you have to pick the dual forms that fit your fingers. So one of these sets are curved, like more curved, and one of them is a little bit more flat, and I chose the flatter ones. You want to try to get it to be a perfect match so that the dual forms aren't, you know, too narrow or too wide for your nail bed. So then here's the one I chose for my thumb. Then you take the base coat and you paint all of your nails. Um, make sure to do this neatly. I didn't do this neatly and... Oh, sorry, this is going in and out of focus. But anyways, I didn't do this super neatly, and when I put my fingers in to cure it, um, like, my nail got stuck to my skin, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you don't, you'll know what I mean if you don't do it neatly. But basically, just do it neatly, and you'll be totally fine. And also, it wasn't a big deal that, you know, it got on my skin. I could, like, take it away with the nail clipper if I wanted to, and it would just go away on its own. But it's just nicer to do it neatly, obviously. Then cure it for... I did it for 90 seconds, I think, that timer is on, so 90 seconds. You could probably do 60 seconds too. And that's what they look like when they're cured. Oh my god, my nails are so ugly! Then I prepared my slip, which basically just helps you um, move around the poly gel on the, on the dual form. So use anything above 70% isopropyl alcohol. I just poured this in just to prepare for when I was going to use my brush in to spread the poly gel. So this is the color I chose. It's called Natural Pink. Love this one. It's a really pretty color. You'll see it now and at the end when it's all applied. So here I am. The brush was like a little stiff, so I just moved it around. And then I opened up the poly gel, squeezed some onto my dual form. And then just know that the first few times you do this, it, it's like a learning curve. I had to redo my first pinky like three times. But after that, my hand got a lot or not my hand, but my nails just like looked a lot better and I got a lot better at it. Um, so yeah, you basically just have to dip your brush in the alcohol because if you don't do that, the poly gel will just stick to your brush. And it, it is like a learning process of how much to put on and how thin and thick you can make it. So I guess just like watch this video and watch a lot of other tutorials so you can kind of get a feel of it. But basically, you want to make sure that it's not too thick or too thin, that it's evenly coated on, you know, all the sidewalls and everything. And here I am just spreading it around. The first time I'm telling you guys is kind of hard, but you really do get used to it and you get better at it too. And here I am just putting on my finishing touches. 
it does get pretty sticky if you don't use too much alcohol but then again you don't want to use too much alcohol or else it gets like too slippery so then once you're kind of pleased with it um, you want to place it on your nail and if you you don't have to push that hard and if you push too hard and like some extra product spills out you want to take your brush and alcohol solution and clean up the edges so this is my very first time doing it make sure it's not crooked if you can see like the product spilling out I should clean up the edges with the brush dipped in alcohol I'm honestly pressing too hard I didn't realize that I didn't need to press too hard yep cleaning up the edges and another important thing that you want to do is the back side so if you don't spread out the back side of your nail it'll get really really thick which isn't great then once you're pleased turn on your lamp and then cure it for 90 seconds and I like to put the back side of my nail towards the light and the front side then this is what my nail looks like and then you just lightly pop off the dual form sorry this is so out of focus but you'll see in a second and yeah this is what it looks like so keep it as long as you want I wanted to keep mine pretty short but anything would be longer than my natural nails anyways so here I am clipping them um, with nail scissors obviously just clip and file them however you'd like I went for kind of like oval look because I don't really like the wide tip look but you'll see that at the end and I'm just kind of repeating the process on all my nails one thing to keep in mind is that once you cure it it's actually pretty hard to get off so with my pinky nail I um, had to file it down basically and then I kind of peeled it off it was like a little bit painful but not really I'm sure that like people would not recommend you doing that but that's what I ended up doing um, yeah so it's basically like a rock on your nail <laughs> after you cure it which is good and bad because obviously if you do a good job the first time then it stays on super well I've had mine on for like two weeks and they look amazing still I love these yeah that's me doing my ring finger and then obviously it's not filed um, but another thing to keep in mind is if you're if you don't have a lot of patience and you don't want to take the time to like really learn how to do this and you're not really good with your hands or doing makeup or things like that I don't know how much I would recommend this product um, I mean if you believe in yourself you can do it that's so cheesy but honestly it's if you give yourself enough time and you're patient with yourself you'll be able to do it but if you're someone who wants quick fast results that are really good this product probably is not for you but I'm like very motivated to save some money on nails because they're so expensive getting it out so I was very happy to take the time to learn how to do this so anyways here's me doing my pointer finger I think I'm trying to show that it was pretty thin on the bottom which I like, I don't like it when it's thick. And then I just cut it, cut, 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 file, etc. Then for this clip, I wanted to show that since I knew I wanted short nails, I really didn't have to worry about smoothing the edges of my nails. Like, look at how wonky that is. Because <laughs> I knew I was just going to snip it right off and it looks totally fine. So you can do that if you want. If you do it, you know, over, or if you do it longer than what you know you want your nail length to be. Why can I not speak? And here's another example of that. This is when I redid my pinky. And my cuticles look really gross, but that just like comes off. It doesn't stay like that shiny, weird mixture of slip and poly gel on your cuticles. And then these are my hands with one finger to go, my right thumb. I'm so in love with how they turned out, you guys. I'm just like so, so, so pleased. I cannot believe that I went my whole life without knowing this until like now doing a final file for all my nails um, just kind of like matching them up and making sure that they're all even and stuff and I don't even know if there's a proper way to file your nails but I probably don't do it the proper way if there is a proper way <laughs> then you just take the top coat and apply it to all of your nails one layer and cure it and here's what they ended up looking I am so beyond pleased you guys have no idea like I said before I don't know how I lived without this the color is beautiful but you can honestly do clear and like use a clear poly gel and do whatever design or color you want I love these and like a thousand out of ten recommend I'm just going to use this for the rest of my life 